Hello dear friends, my name is Sahba Mutallebi and I would love to teach you how to play sitar in easy way and quick and fast. So, the name of this amazing beautiful instrument is sitar. S-E-H-T-A-R. Se means three in Farsi and tar means string in Farsi. So we have lots of instruments like setar, guitar, dotar, Indian sitar, and uh, uh, also tar, another Persian instrument. And tar means strings, that means a stringed instrument. So you are going to see the bowl of the setar. It is lots of beautiful curved wood, it's mulberry, uh, and they're going just to make it, it is handmade, it. they're going to make it like rounded and it would be the sound box of this amazing beautiful instrument. So this part called kase, similar as bowl, kase. This part is simgir, the place that take strings. This part called safhe, like face. So kase, simgir, safhe. This little part holds strings and it's called kharak. So you have four string. The last two one are the same tuning but in octave. So that's why we have three note, do, sol, do in octave, but the third strings is tuned like the first one. So it is C, G, C, and octave like bam or bass octave. Usually we call it Do, Sol, Bam. Do, Sol, Bam. Bam means bass. This part is the neck. We call it Daste. On Daste we have lots of even quarter tone frets because it's Persian instrument. So it has quarter tone like Middle Eastern instruments. We call it Parde or Dastan. So for example, the first Parde, second Parde or first fret, second fret. And this is the place that you play and this is the place that you put the weight of the Dasse on your hand, your left hand. For pick or mezrab, usually we use the long nail, not very long, like limited, medium nail. But most of the time, because people getting break their nail or something, we call this one mezrab or plectrum or pick. So this mezrab is especially for setar. Another amazing thing about this instrument is everything is handmade. This part, the daste, made by walnut. The frets, catgut or, or lambgut. These are tuning picks. We call it gushi. I teach with a book called Courses for Tar and Setar, Volume 1 and 2. It is by Mr. Ruho Lah Khaliqi, one of the very famous amazing musicians in Iran. Now let's learn how we are going to hold our instrument. So this setar has the bowl, you are going just to turn it like this. So the face would be in front of the mirror or the wall or people who wants to listen to you. And this rounded shape going go to your belly. So just imagine this foot is coming through the end and the end of the middle of the instrument will be in your uh, closest to on your lap and also your belly. The angle that you are going just to keep your uh, daste or neck supposed to be like that and comfortable. You cannot keep your instrument like this or this. 
So the angle is supposed to be in form very beautifully on your shoulders and very relaxed. Your neck is supposed to be so relaxed and the angle would be like this. The way that you are going to uh, play the instrument on a string is so relaxed but supposed to have the strings. We call this motion Mezrabe Rast. It's coming through yourself and this is the main mezrab that we are using. And the opposite of that, like this, we call it mezrab chap. So, rast, chap, rast, chap. How you are going to put this hand on your setar? Your thumb going go to the, on the surface or safhe. Your fourth finger coming to the safhe. So, thumb, fourth finger, and this part is easily, not with pressure or pressure or just holding so tight. No, very relaxed and easily it will come on your kase and safe. Other fingers supposed to be so relaxed, no pressure. And it's supposed to be like, like water, like flying, like butterfly. So relaxed. This finger should, shouldn't be so like strong and pasted or glued to your safe. Very relaxed, it's coming through it. Ross chap, Ross chap. So practice this Ross chap with your left side of your finger or nail. And the way that we are going to play is like this and Break it like this and it will back like this and you touch your thumb, the cushiony part of your thumb from the first finger or index. You are going just to play like this and it's going to make these parts, these two parts stronger after practicing while. So the practicing is like this. Choose one string, like C string or Do, and practice it. Ross chap, Ross chap, and also the second string, Sol, and Bam. Every day, few hours a day. Then, you get better feeling about speed. But please do not put little finger like this. It's, going, it's not going to work like that. You're supposed to bring it from top of your hand, your fingers. So it is like this, not small like this. Even for tremolo, for reason, it's not very small like this. It's coming from the top. And then you have the knowledge and you have the good muscle for practicing reese. Let's start on the first lesson page 16 please look at my website and if you want to obtain or buy this book you can find it over there let's practice lesson number one please look at my website and find this book on my website first lesson is two four i imagine you know rhythm i consider that already you know notes and the name of it shapes of it how long you are going just to uh, hold that note and then you are coming to learn this beautiful instrument. Lesson number one, two, four. One and two and. We call it yek, va, do, va. Yek means one, do means two. One and two and. The note is C. So you practice thousand times of Do, then practice these seven notes. Lesson number two. Name of the note is Sol or G. One and two and. Lesson number three. 
Listen number three. One and two and do do sol sol do do sol sol do sol do rest and lesson number four quarter note one and two and do 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 rest Lesson number five. Sol. Sol, 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 sol. Rest and. Lesson number six with its repetition. You can see two dots at the end and it is repeat. Do, do, sol, sol, do, do, sol, sol. Number seven, you are going to experience the first fret with your left hand. Okay, we are talking about left hand now. Just imagine you are walking, so relaxed and comfortable. Just bring your hand here and you can touch the bone of your first finger here. And then put your thumb relaxed freely. Then you can see a little like triangle here. It shouldn't be like this. It is okay. You have the little triangle over there and your hand flowing through the neck. Very relaxed and comfortable and your shoulder and your uh, upper hand. Every, everything in your uh, body is supposed to be so relaxed. Okay, when you are going to play D or note Re, the, the second fret is supposed to be holded. The second fret with your first finger. Okay, it is like this and then like that. Relax. Anyone, if touch there, your finger supposed to be moved freely. It can't be nervous or tight. It's supposed to be so relaxed. And then with your first finger, please hold right before the second fret. Then you can have Re or D. Do, Re. Please do not put it so long from the finger, from the frets. It's supposed to be close. Even your second finger and your third finger lay there. They, are, they shouldn't be like flying like this. They're supposed to be so close to your frets. Let's play lesson number seven. practice thousand time of do re and the you can see how it's going just to be affected on your first finger the strings going to put its like a print inside exactly the middle of your first finger and it is correct same as re we have la do re sol la Lesson number eight. Sol, 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 la, 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 sol, la, sol, rest. This is your first session.